the familiar strains of Amazing Grace filling the spring air atop Mount Helix, a hymn written by a former slave trader who became an abolitionist, carrying a message that forgiveness and redemption are possible no matter what. And so we are grateful that you all were able to come even though it is a weekday. Members of Hillcrest's University Christian Church holding their Good Friday observance here for the first time. A crown of thorns on display, reminding everyone of what this day is all about for Christians. In downtown San Diego, there's nothing unusual about seeing people walking, but look a little closer. These pedestrians have a distinct purpose. This is the 29th annual Good Friday Walk with the Suffering, a reenactment of the Stations of the Cross, the 15 episodes Christian scripture says Jesus experienced on his journey to Calvary. Students from Cristo Rey High School taking the parts of Roman soldiers and of Christ. This is station 14. Jesus is laid in the tomb. The infamous journey of more than 2,000 years ago is brought into the present. The stop at each station, a chance to reflect on problems faced by humanity in the early 21st century. So here we're thinking about the suffering of environmental destruction. And on they went, marching to their destination, the San Diego Rescue Mission. I hope it helps people remember um, there's more to Easter than the Easter Bunny. This is the 29th annual walk. Rosemary Johnston started it, and she's coordinated every walk ever since. This year, the war in Ukraine is shaping her view of Good Friday. Everyone, their heart bleeds for what is going on, and we feel powerless. And it's at times like that we need to turn to God in prayer and ask for guidance and forgiveness of the oppressors, as well as aid to those who have been victims. I've always wanted to do it, and this is a perfect moment. Xavier Sawaya is a freshman at Cristo Rey High School. He portrayed Jesus. His understanding of the events of the first Good Friday is straightforward. It was a day of pain and sorrow, but in the end, it's light. He resurrected. He saved our souls. This march is, of course, a Christian event, but Rosemary Johnston says she hopes the foundational message of forgiveness and ultimate love reaches everyone, whether they're people of faith or not. John Carroll. KPBS News.